What's going on everybody? It's your boy named Matthews back again with another video. If you guys caught my last one, I told you guys I don't know too much about cars, yet I was still able to fix a problem. Well now, another problem has come up and I think I'm the one that caused it and now I gotta fix it. So let's go to the car. I'll show you guys what we're about to do today. We'll do a whole bunch of tests and everything like that. And if you guys are more knowledgeable about vehicles and stuff than me, especially when it comes to audio and systems and stuff like that, feel free to drop a comment below and uh, put your boy on game. But I'm gonna show you guys what I'm about to do today, right now. So this is what I currently have installed in the vehicle right now. This is a 12 inch sub Alpine Type S um, with the, the grill cover on it right there. So I did a video on that yesterday. You guys are probably gonna see it again today because I gotta take the whole thing out and redo it. So my uh, the actual speaker is actually messed up the sub. So I got a replacement. This time I got a warranty on it. I'd never installed it myself. Uh, last one was installed by the audio shop. But now that they've done all the wiring and stuff like that through the vehicle, I think I can actually get it done myself this time. So again, this is something new that I'm going to be doing. And the outcome is going to look just like this. But again, the reason why this one is messed up, um, I really don't know. But I do put the blame on myself. Last time I told you guys there was just no, no power to it. Like absolutely at all. Now I think I really like fried. I'm going to go ahead and put on a test, like a base test. Let you guys hear how this this one sounds and then we're going to go ahead and install the new one and we'll compare it um, and see how it sounds there's definitely a buzzing sound in there and this is supposed to be a very deep bass that's making the whole car shake and um, you guys may again not be able to hear it but it's definitely not doing that it's more like static coming out of the subwoofer so I think there's a, a point of no return which is why I said I went ahead and bought a replacement put the warranty on it this time so yeah let me shut this down I'm gonna pop this off I'll show you guys a close-up and we'll do the install so before I go ahead and fully pop this uh, grill cover off I'll show you guys which one I have right here this is the uh, the model number and stuff like that when you're buying it online don't be tricked because it says the KTE 12G.2 online like on Amazon where I got this from uh, doesn't it I think it's missing the dot or it's spaced out to make it seem like you get two grill covers but you really only get one so again this is what I got came with some screws some uh some whatever it is some spacers um, screws and stuff like that and the end result looks like this but we'll go ahead and take it off so it's just a little rubber part right there pop that off couple screws and spacers that we have to take out I'll show you guys what these look like again after I put this new sub in here I'm just gonna put it back together it's gonna look just like this at the end it's a nice nice uh, mesh metal frame there I also have my subwoofer sitting up on some um, some velcro at the bottom so I get it to stick to the bottom here it definitely has helped I've only had it in here for a couple days but every single time I've opened the trunk prior to that this thing was uh, sliding around all in the trunk and now it's a uh, nice and fit where it should be doesn't move around so let's go ahead and pull this out start by just unscrewing it and these are what the little spacers look like if you guys can see it I got the wide angle lens on today so you can't can't really zoom in too much but yeah little spacers screws undoing everything Unscrewed everything. That's what the grill's looking like. Toss that to the side. Pull this up. Just to make sure that I'm going to be plugging it in correctly before I undo any of the uh, wiring, I'm just going to go ahead and pop the new box open so I can do it at the same time. And this is what we got so far right here guys so came with these cables and these cords or whatever matched them up the same exact way on the replacement right there plug the cords in the same exact way now before i actually put it back in the box i'm just going to go ahead and put on that base test i know it's not going to sound 100 percent uh, accurate but i do want to see if it does sound you know better than it was before all right y'all so i did a little baby test i uh, can't really hear too much of the uh, uh sub just yet but then again it's not even in the box so let me actually box it up um and then we'll try it again first thing we got to do is take the uh, rubber casing off of it right here because that's where the uh, screw holes and everything is at. So I'll go ahead and take this off. And I gotta find the one that I took off my original one too. Um, take that off because with the the one that has the grill on it, it's a different kind of uh, casing. Try 
gonna line it up with the original hole so I don't gotta keep screwing up the box. Up next, we throw the grill on. on the side too because this looks like it's coming undone with the carpet but that shouldn't affect the sound but it does affect the appearance so I'll get to that after we do this a couple more to pop in y'all we got it all installed as you can see this is what it's looking like right there with the grill on it all boxed up everything now let's kick the audio on and test it out base test y'all So I think I got everything figured out. Got the stereo system plugged in. Got the grill cover case and everything like that on there. Let me know what you guys think. Another thing though, um, on the last video I made about my car, I actually told you guys to click the card that popped up, leading you guys to like the initial uh, review of my stereo system. I have since realized that that uh, video has been uh, blocked by Netflix because I was showing some stuff on the TV. So I'm just going to do a little quick recap and show you guys again my stereo system. Also, my neighbor's dope too. He seen me out here trying to set it up. Um, my stereo up for like the last couple days actually and uh he says some people around me actually just got booted out and they um left the speaker outside or whatever so he picked it up he told me if i could figure out how to set it up that he's gonna let me have it looks like it's 210s or 212 something like that whole bunch of stuff 3000 watts versus the amp that i got right now puts out only about 600 which is super booming enough for me but 3000 i don't know i might i might tear the whole car apart with that but if it's free, I might figure out how to do it. So let me know if I, I should do it. Um, I took a picture of it. Let me know what you guys think about this or whatever. But now I'm going to show you guys my dash. So the dash that I have right here is called the Atoto. This is my dash right here. It is an uh, Android system type dash. Uh, of course, everything I could play games on it, which why would I play games while I'm in the car? Uh, music, um, GPS, navigation, phone calls, everything like that. Um, let me see. I'm going to show you guys what I kind of got in trouble for last time. But... Hopefully this ain't copyrighted. So let's see. We're going to go to the video player. By the way, I picked this thing up for, I don't know, 200 250 something like that. The thing that cost the most actually with all this was actually paying the shop to install it for me. So that's the reason why I've been trying to figure this stuff out learn how to do it myself. Um, but yeah, it's really nice, man. Let's see what I got on here. Three strikes, child's play, how to be a player. We can watch that new episode of uh, Power. Let's, let's do that. Forgot what I put on last time that got me in trouble, but just so you guys can see, we'll turn up the audio a little bit. For you guys that have not seen the finale, you might not want to watch this part, but it's been out for a while. This is not the leak. It's actually aired on TV at this point. You someone who's as loyal to you as you are to him. Fuck we'll just jump around. Look what you have done! system in here is pretty good. you knew she signed those papers. I think the visuals look nice, the audio is good, of course. Take care of your ass for me. Probably can't play any of the rest of this stuff. I'll get in trouble. But as you guys can see, like I said, I got some movies and stuff on here. It's a... Uh, 
good enough system to get some good sound out of the back as you guys can see there uh, might have some apps and stuff like that on here Dropbox everything like that it's got Bluetooth um, I think it has everything but auxiliary which is kind of weird because I think there's a spot or an app on here called aux or something like that but there's really not an auxiliary cord what I did have though was two probably can't even see it yeah I have two USB I don't even know where the other one's at there it is so it's got two USB plugs at the end there so you can go ahead and plug stuff in that's how I usually transfer all my music transfer all my music through and everything like that again I do have another stereo system that I actually do need to install I'm kind of mad that the initial review got um, banned or whatever they want to call it it's restricted off YouTube because that review is the one that got the attention of this company so i made the review i just put it up like any other video the company that made the the stereo right here ended up seeing it and they contacted me they sent me one of their newer models um but i don't know how to install it so i kind of don't want to pay you know another couple hundred dollars or whatever for somebody else to install it for me so that's why i've been just kind of hanging on to it but if any of you guys know how to install it, let me know. And one of the tricky things with stereos, whereas I just uh, installed uh, the subwoofer in the back, everything is actually already wired in my car. So all I had to do is just reconnect the wires. Now with this, I have to pop this whole thing out. I have to pop the damn near, take the whole steering wheel off and everything like that, which is why I have not done it yet. So again, I don't know if this video is going to be quick or not, depending on how I edit it, but I just know I've been out here for a couple days um, off and on trying to figure this stuff out, tweaking the stuff in the back figuring it out i didn't know if it was this I told you guys i'd already fixed the uh um the amplifier and everything like that and i think i got everything going now it, it, it's definitely kicking um i don't know what i'm gonna do with the other subwoofer i don't really know 100 percent if it's messed up when i was watching videos online they said how to know if your amplifier is really messed up is by putting two fingers like on the ends of the cone and kind of pushing it in and if it doesn't move at all or if it makes any type of squeaking cracking noise that's how you know for sure it's damaged i did that and it did not make any type of noise so I definitely don't think that's the case. However, when I was trying to play music, it was not kicking as loud as it's kicking now when I just installed this other one. So I might have to toss it out, but knowing me, I'm just going to box it up in the closet for a minute. Um, but yeah, if you guys found this video helpful, if you guys have any ideas of what I should uh, tweak next in a vehicle, definitely let me know because I'm trying to figure this stuff out. I kind of got to do what I was trying not to, to do. I was trying to avoid messing stuff up, blowing out speakers, you know, doing stuff like that. But I guess you got to go through a couple mess ups before you figure out how to get it right. Um, these speakers cost me about 150 or whatever. If again, if you guys want to get the same speakers, same setup, everything I got is going to be linked in the uh, description box below. So y'all go ahead and check that out for me and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.